Hello, I'm sitting here in Hart House Theatre with Elena Mossoff, the director of Equus, mm -hmm. and Byron LaViolette, the dramaturge and so much more. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? You tired? Yeah. A we're, a little, we're a little tired. <laughs> we're a little you're, tired. So you're opening on? Friday. Friday. Friday the 12th. At 8 p.m.? At 8 p.m. And are we ready? Uh, we have four days, and uh, I think that we will accomplish everything we need to in those in the allotted time. <laughs> so how has been working on this script, Peter Schaefer's Equus, been for you? It's, it's really intense subject matter. Um, it's definitely a, a very challenging script. I think that the history, the production history and the history of the, the story itself uh, makes the piece a challenge um, because we're in and out of different time frames and it's a memory play. It also sort of moves like a, a mystery like an uncovering of a mystery, why Alan did what he did. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's taken a lot of time to figure out the, the levels and the intricacies uh, of where our focus is when. Um, and we're, you know, as we've added some of the larger elements like sound and lights in the past few days, um, yeah. those things are becoming a lot clearer, mm -hmm. um, which, is, which is very exciting. <laughs> Byron, do you want to give a brief plot synopsis of Equus for anyone who doesn't know? Sure. Uh, Equus is uh, a story that Peter Schaefer heard about, about um, a boy who blinded some horses in a stable in but England. But a lot more than in the, in the play. Like 20, I think, is sure. the number. Sure. Um, so it seems that Peter Schaefer distilled that idea into an exploration of um, psychology as well as what motivates people... Uh, on the level of faith in a sort of technologically dominated world. Follows Alan Strang, um, who is the, the boy who blinds the horses, and um, Dr. Dysart, who uh, is the psychologist that Alan gets sent to, and how they unravel the story. Um, all the other characters are present, Alan's parents, um, the girl who sort of instigates, it's all the uh, stable owner, the nurse of the hospital, um, and the actors who play the horses, they're present all the time, so they're watching the story. And as the play unfolds through the two acts, we realize the multitude of factors that contribute to Alan's actions. Um, and I wouldn't say necessarily arrive at an understanding of why he did it, but rather um, an opportunity to look at and connect with the various forces that push and pull on him. Mm -hmm. Elena, do you want to talk about how you created the horses and how the actors are going to represent them through movement or...? Sure. Um, the horses is one of, I think, the biggest challenges of, of this play. I think there's a lot of expectation around them. Um, it was definitely clear to me that there's an element of, of really deep-seated homosexuality in this play. It was really important to me that the horses um, were all played by, by males, by men. Um, and that the masks weren't like like a likeness of a horse, that they weren't realistic in a way. Um, Sarah O'Brien, the designer, and I came to this pretty skeletal idea, which I think in the recent production that was on Broadway was also something that they used as the sort of skull of a horse. Um, so they also become part of the shadow. There's this idea where we've been working with that every every character is a shadow of themselves as opposed to the character in the present moment because it's all filtered through Alan. So the horses um, are also part of that skeleton, mm -hmm. and um, we have a movement person. So we've been we've been working with with movement in terms of um, tension with the horses. Um, Horses are extremely intuitive animals. They're not very smart. They they work as a unit. They sense um, fear from one another. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, just recently, last week, we went on a trip to the mounted police headquarters, oh, and we fine. got to meet um, all the horses there and spend some time with them. And we worked with looking at their movements and the way they move their heads and the sort of tension you can see in their faces and how they react to certain things. And so that was really helpful and to help um, the guys playing the horses uh, have an understanding of what all, all that movement is about and how to embody that in a human body is, is a challenge. It's 
it's really hard uh, because horses are so large and so powerful the actors themselves become almost more like centaurs so a cross between a man and horse um, and they have to work with imagining this long huge invisible back and mm -hmm. a, a stiffness in their upper bodies and a looseness in their heads like a horse like horses have so yeah, yeah. so interesting I've had the pleasure of watching some of the rehearsals do you want to talk about some of the amazing emerging artists that are appearing in this show like Jesse and Sonia sure um, Jesse Nirenberg uh, is a young Toronto actor. Uh, he's a Ryerson Theatre School graduate. Um, he's really wonderful in the role of Alan Strang. Um, he's, done, he's done some amazing work. I know at Ryerson he worked with Ida Holmes mm -hmm. and a bunch of other great artists. I know that he has traveled to Prague with the show, as I did once before too, so we sort of have that affinity. Um, and he's playing opposite um, Sonia Linderer, who's a U of T grad from the U of T drama program, um, and has been working as an actor in the city since she graduated, and I know that um, she has goals of moving on to graduate school in the US and is beginning to pursue that, and so the two of them have really added a fantastic synergy to this show that I'm not sure would be with other people. The two of them have brought a maturity and a respect to the piece and to one another into the space that is um, really important. And I feel very lucky to have those two actors Great. here with us. Well, I know you have a lot to do. Good mm -hmm. luck this week. Thank and you. Equus opens this Friday, November 12th at 8 p.m. at Hart House Theatre. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.